March 4th, 2019, Monday. Today was a very difficult day. There were a lot of uh, pain shots to my head, pretty much everywhere, to the back, to the middle, everywhere to my head. They were, there were pain shots. And eyes, my eyes, they've done something. My eyes are, are hurting. And, um, Let's see, and the tensions to my upper spinal cord. Um, and then they had several, several layers of frequency, frequencies in my uh, RNM, in my RNM and in my brain. The cartel RNM is, uh, is an abusive and trauma cartel, and it is a criminal cartel. They send out such perceptions. I call it the cartel perceptions were horrendous, uh, were traumatic, abusive. Mm, they make me cry inside, you know? And then what they do is they trap my cry. They don't allow my cry to to actually come out so that I can get uh, relief. Um, let's see, what else was I gonna say? Uh, memories. So much of my memories are blocked and so much of my vocabulary is blocked so that the only vocabulary that is so the only vocabulary I can spit out is the vocabulary is the vocabulary that they have programmed into the scripts and the forced anthology because I'm a terrible subject of the forced anthology. And another thing they do is they've done a lot of scripts on me and in the scripts they will have like very political CIA level questions that my my system of programming has the ability to answer and usually it's called the which answers, which does the forced answers um, because of the chakra system. Uh, in forced anthology, um, the witch capability takes over the chakra system in the throat region and the cardiac region. Um, and hence is then able to do the forced, uh, the forced uh, verbal responses and the forced anthologies. Anyways, when they took the answers, the uh, political answers, the CIA level questions and answers, they dumped on me so much disgusting trash, so much degrading uh, satanic beast uh, behavior and uh, sexual degradingness uh, on my cart uh, on the cartel uh, through the cartel perception in my brain and my energy and my cardiac energy system spinal cord energy system it's it was it's it's very you know there's primitive and then there's then there's uh, uh, sexual energy on different levels of sexual energy one of the things that people have to realize like if there is a soulmate energy there is a twin flame energy there is the necromancing energy or the snake dancing energy or the snake romancing energy. Uh, in the snake romancing energy, they have the cobra romancing energy and the snake romancing energy or the beast, uh, beast romancing energy, the satanic romancing energy. And the satanic romancing energy and the beast romancing energy is ritual energy. It's a, it's a ritual behavior energy. It's a, it's a very demonic um, way of living. And they don't hesitate to say it to my brain, to, my, uh, to me. And they also target for such, uh, for such uh, motives. Yeah, for such motives. Uh, they traffic such motives. Like they will, they will look and they will see if there are soulmates and twin flames or in true marriages, uh, some that are aware and some that aren't aware. And then uh, they will traffic those in, in the R&M cartel, and they will traffic those. And they do a lot of their, their targeting, they do a lot of their despise frequencies, the frequencies of despise and uh, spells of despise. Uh, and then through that, they, they traffic uh, the the twin flames and the soulmates into the beast romancing realm and the satanic romancing realm.
you can still, I, I've been fighting it all my life. I've been fighting it for the last 16 years. Um, the, the way to combat it is through awareness, lots of research and lots of awareness. And it isn't easy because it's, uh, you're getting attacked by energy capabilities. You have so many levels of uh, perception cartel, witch cartel, auditory cartel, and um, they control so much of a person. It's, um, there's a lot of sadness in it. There's a lot of cries in it. Uh, it destroys, it doesn't just destroy, destroy the main target, but it destroys and traumatizes every family member. It destroys the, uh, the children as young as, as from one year, two years, three years, four years, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. And then it, it just uh, traumatizes the elderly. It traumatizes every member of the family. And um, for me, it traumatized uh, every member of my uh, direct family members. And it went as far as um, my relatives and community members. Um, and they do what they keep track of the, of the Rosicrucian. Rosicrucian agents are the beast's agents. And they are, and it's like a, it's like a cobra snake, a cobra energy beam snake wire uh, within the, within the, within the, within the gang stalking targets. I mean, I think even those are, I think they're still targets, even though they have the cobra snake uh, energy wire in them. Because uh, what what a, a Rosicrucian Cobra agent will spit out verbally a lot of the uh, Rosicrucian Cobra hideosity through the straight talk of verbology. And the sad part is my perception. I have their cartel perception, their uh, criminal Rosicrucian perception, and the Black Bermuda cartel, and the South Asian miming, the insectoids. Those are very dangerous uh, army uh, in their system of trafficking, in the trafficking system. And then I have the exclusive whiter shade witches, and then there's the hard whites. And the hard white facet also has the Rosicrucian, the Rosic hard white Rosicrucian facet. All of these operate trafficking on so many levels. And it's really, uh, it's really sad. And it's, I know so much about this army. Uh, I wish other people knew so much about this army. And it isn't easy to say the stuff there about this army because it's, uh, it's traumatic. It's um, abusive. It's, uh, it's all the horrific things that uh, most other targets talk about. And I haven't had the capability to talk about it. Uh, what One thing they do is to my cardiac system is they can frequency rope the cardiac system. They can stone the cardiac system of a targeted person so that a targeted person um, is taken over by the cartel, by the cartel agents. The cartel agents will emerge either as cyborgs, as cyborgs or energy beings and the targeted person, pretty much the targeted person becomes, I guess, like a host uh, to these beings. These beings are as much on Earth as uh, has their humanoid channels, humanoid antennas, as they are terrestrial. Right now, today, I also experienced them as cyborgs in my body, robotized. I felt the robotic energy within me and how they were walking about as I was going about in the kitchen. And they also have a sublimeness of, frequ of energy frequency realms. The energy frequency realms is that they can go into a vampire energy frequency level, and they're very unkind in this vampire energy frequency level. They're hood-based in the frequency, they, in the vampire energy realm, they're hood-based, and they're, uh, I don't know what else they call it, but, uh, and they're trafficking-based. And their, you know, the, their vampire frequency level is a criminal frequency realm. And they were going about in that frequency realm with me today. 
because they extracted so much of my my God uh, my God answered my God questions and answers in the rigs and scripts that they operated through the forced speech of rantology and the perception and the cartel perception as they were going about. Uh, there were like three to four because I have the Jezebel Medusa in the auditory. This one, uh, and then the exclusive blonde, which is in the throat chakra, and then insectoids and the Rosicrucians in the cartel perception and the black Bermuda. Anyways, um, they were, uh, let's see, what was I got? Another thing I wanted to say is that um, when they target, uh, when they traffic children in the abuse program and the pedophilia program, um, they they first get the bonding capability through their parents, uh, the energy bonding through their parents. They can copy that, whether you call it copying or extracting that. They get that, and then through that, uh, then the cartel members will talk through those uh, through those bonding capabilities of the parent and the child. They will talk through that in the cartel in the from the cartel perception. And and it's sad uh, because when they go when they target a child into the abuse and trauma program, they also uh, traffic the parents, the parents, the grandparents, and the relatives, and so on. And then they also use uh, mind control frequencies and words as the targeted family are communicating with community people, and the community people are spitting out mind controlled responses. Uh, let's see, there was something else I needed to say. Uh, another thing is like they will take, uh, they will talk, uh, when they do their questions and answers in the rigs and the scripts, they use the God energy, both from the target and from the cartel in itself. They get, they, they, they frequency themselves to the God energy level and they talk, they do their scripts through God. Once they do their scripts through God, they go up back onto the vampire frequency. They 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 pretty much takes the God file of information and they and they put that they place that away that away, and then from the vampire energy level, they bring in the trashy files and they place it in the perception of uh, in the perception cartel of the main target like myself. And uh, the trashy files uh, again are. Are the sexual predators, uh, the sexual predator, predatorness, the trafficking, the human trafficking on every on all level, and the pedophilias, uh, or the the child the abusing children, um, and there's so much other stuff, and the uh, shame, shame, a lot of it, uh, the degradingness and the shameness, uh, the sexual shame and the sexual degradingness. Uh, the rapes and uh, I don't like having to say these things. That's why I didn't want to say we. I, I don't know what else to call it, you know. Uh, and uh, it's all the criminal stuff. Most of you guys are going to say, well, this and that. These cartel members have everything. Uh, these are to me appeared because they can go from God frequency to the vampire frequency. And they can communicate. They uh, they, do, they do much of their communication through the doppel system. The foremost, if you any target who can figure out the doppel system, doppel system is such that people people are strangers, people that aren't related, but they look very similar in so many ways. Uh, pretty much all forms of. And once you learn the concept of the doppel system, and it's very prevalent in the human community. So the first thing they do is they throw they throw their trafficking capabilities into the doppel system, and from there on they can go they they target through the frequencies. People, every person has their level of frequencies, and they go through the frequencies, and they use all that stuff. I'm so sorry. That was the witch talking through me. I don't know if it's safe for me to talk about this, um, the trafficking, but my the this is uh, the doppel system. Uh, this is you know my my commonalities with other targets is that I have the 
remote neural monitor from the pers uh, to which I refer to as the cartel perception uh, trespassed into my mind against my will. Uh, auditory medusa, uh, energy wires running from my ear canals to my cardiac system, and voice to skull, and uh, forced gerontology is such that they have control over my chakra system in such a way that uh, the witches have first access to the response from my cellular system, from my DNA system, my, from my thought system, from my conscience system. They get that and they, they, they do with it. So um, they pretty much my voice, my true voice is a stolen voice by the vampirial system and by the satanic, uh, by the white satanic cartel and the demonic, uh, and the demonic diversity of the satanic, uh, of the white satanic cartel. And it's a really high level of demonic diversity is the beast realm of the Lucifer. Below the Lucifer system is the beast system, which is made up of a lot of Rosicrucians, very demonic Rosicrucians and insectoid South Asians. Um, that's how it operates in my in my R and M. As I'm talking right now, I'm getting imageries from the South Asian, the insectoids, and they're they're really horrendous. And I said, look, with me for me to have these kind of operations being done on me, I feel like I'm one in a billion because none of the other TIs are talking about these kind of tactics. And so. Of course, they said with these kind of tactics, because none of the other TIs have it, nobody have it, and nobody has these kind of tactics. You have it. We don't like to call you one in a billion. We don't like to call you intelligent. We <laughs> we like to call you stupid. <laughs> so, uh, uh, anyways, a lot of people are smart in so many other ways, but they're operating uh, a program on me that they could be operating on high level on high-level CIA agents, you know. Uh, anyways, they are using our energies, and there's a lot of sadness. There is so much sadness. There's so much stuff that I don't even know how to say. Another thing is um, there is the ascension realm and there's the dissension realm, okay? The criminal cartel is from the dissension realm. Like, for instance, the Rosicrucians, the insectoids, the beast realm, it's from the dissension realm. And the white Lucifer realm is also from the dissension realm. Um, the thing is, the belief system of the, the, of the dissension system is that the dissension system says that there is no life after death. The ascension system is the medieval, sense, medieval system from the old century. And this, where all, people, where all the beings and the divinities and the humanoids are uh, luminaries, which means God faith. Okay, they're God faith people and God faith divinities. In the concept of the God faith divinities, in the in the concept of the ascension, they're uh, all human beings that die, uh, natural or in or unnatural. They have a right. To, uh, they their soul has a right to be alive. Uh, has to be has the has the right to be alive and conscious. Even if the vessel dies, do you know, after, after death, life after death is a right, you know. So, um, you know, the, a lot of people believe that once a person dies, the conscience is still alive, the soul is still alive. The dissension realm, however, the terrestrials and aliens and beings of uh, the army, it calls itself the army, it doesn't respect the uh, concept of being alive after death. I don't know what they, they, actually they said that they, they chop the souls. They are soul choppers. So, and, and people, they don't, they, they, they don't allow people to die peacefully. The dissension realm doesn't allow people, uh, targets to die peacefully. Uh, there's a lot of stuff about the, that stuff that's difficult for me to say, but, um, uh, Rituals and all and there's rituals, there's sacrifices, there's murders, and there's uh, slaughters, and there's let's see, I don't know, this is all I can think of right now. These types of deaths, um, is how the beast, uh, it's how the beast picks up uh, death, and when it does, my suspicions is that they lock the soul energy into their beast frequency 
That's my suspicion because that's how my experiences and how they go about with me. I feel like they're taking my frequencies, my body's frequencies, and it's going into them. And I think they're doing the same thing to my family members also. I don't think I can publish this video. Anyways, you guys have a good day.